That's, again, back to Elon Musk. I mean, here we go with solar power for our homes. Watched a couple of, uh, you know, quick uh, YouTube videos where some guys are doing this and they're paying, uh, they're sending back. You have to have an agreement. You have to have the right equipment to be able to send back stored energy back to the grid. Yes. And those kind of things. And I learned a little bit about it, but I'd like to hear your, your thoughts about uh, solar power in the home let's get those panels up and why what are we waiting for uh, yeah it's uh well the, the economics on that are getting better every year right. and, and it only will continue to do so um and that but that's not the only thing there's also you know larger scale solar that uses sure. the existing grid as well so you know not everybody's house is ideal for solar a lot right. depends on right. where you are and um for in a lot of situations at today's costs anyways right it will cost you more to get power um from solar on your rooftop than it would to get it from your local utility especially if they're going green as well you you know what do you care you might you're just as happy to but then there's tons of places where it's awesome right right you know uh elon musk has the uh the battery wall so you can right. get I've seen I've seen you know you get enough those, yeah. you get enough panels and enough battery walls and you don't need that power company anymore yeah I mean, it's it's very so. interesting in the video I saw and I hate to keep quoting some video from the Netherlands here but uh, the the guy had to had the wall had two walls mm-hmm. and then had another kit that would allow it because he was talking about when the power goes out mm-hmm. at his house um, that that solar power goes down too and yes. the reason is uh, that if the guys are working on the lines and so forth out there, and you're sending a charge up there, you, it's it would dangerous. Have a problem. Yeah, yes, that's you, right. T- if you want, if you want to be able to be on when your local utility goes down, you have to have more equipment. You have right. to have right. an automatic throwover switch that says, exactly. "Hey, the the power is off from the grid. I'm cutting you off from the grid, so, and then letting your home power power your house right and right that exists That's i mean you can do that with yeah. a gas generator you can do it with solar panels you can do it with any kind of home generation you just have it adds an expense a level of expense to the installation right that that, that was the kicker that, on, that the, makes, on the just on makes the it more expensive yeah and and seeing that well it's hope uh it's sort of on the ca- cutting edge again like we were saying we're not there yet but there's the direction that we need to go in so I'm real pleased that that's kind of out there and coming, but uh, I don't know Well, if know I was building a house right? from scratch, I'd have that, because if yeah. you look at it in the, the – you know, economics would really go out the window for me. I'd go, okay, you're building a house. You're going to put a hundred or two hundred or three hundred thousand dollars into building this house. Sure. And you're talking about – Ten or fifteen thousand dollars to have this house be autonomous from the grid. <laughs> Why wouldn't you do that? Right. Let's do that. And and what I what I saw was that's available now. Yes. That that, that switcher abs- that keeps you off yes. the grid. Absolutely. And, and so it's not like it's science fiction. We have no. to wait. No. So that's what Tom and I sometimes go around and around about. You know, it's like okay, things in the future. Well, what about now? We are moving fast and furious right. in these directions. Right. 